Um, up first this evening, 11 students of the Edwin Allen High School are in hospital following a motor vehicle collision in Clarendon today. Two of the students are said to be in critical condition and the driver of the taxi transporting them was warned for prosecution. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm reports. Images of tragedy, misfortune and distress. Shortly after 7 this morning, alleged eyewitnesses claim a taxi was traveling on this one-lane bridge in Frankfield, Clarendon. Another taxi packed with the children came speeding in the opposite direction and ended up in the Rock River. I can't, I can't stop in, 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 in our bridge. I can't come 150. Come look at the car in our bridge. You know, not, we don't want to look at over the bridge and we can't look, 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 look at them. About 10 people in our car. Lap up. Yeah, yeah, me good, me general. You can't tap, sink down in uncle. You can't jump, 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 and tap, you know. You can't over, you know, uncle. I tell people, oh, they care, you know. People are unconscious, knock out. I pay crying and blood for a man, uncle. People are, I pay blood. Alfred Foster, who was driving the taxi that stopped, said he did that to avoid a collision. I just run right between and touch my car and the bridge column and run right over the river. So what was that experience that for you? But it was terrible because it's the first time I experienced something like that. So my father just come out of my car, go by the river and just assist. The best we can and just send off everybody to the hospital. No one in Mr. Foster's car was injured, but there was damage to his vehicle. As for the condition of the children, a gruesome picture was painted. A female, our hair split right here, come down to her face, it's very scarred. A little boy was there, it seemed as if broke, he's paralyzed neck. from right here down to his foot. Broke, a female, no, our neck couldn't have moved. Currently, we have nine who are admitted at the Percy Junior Hospital. Two are sent off to KPH based on the nature of their injuries. And we consider those critical. And one will be taken to Mandeville to have a CT scan done. He has suffered a broken arm. His hip has been... Um, injured and we will be in touch with the hospital to get further updates. The principal of Edwin Allen High is again appealing for a rural transportation system for students. And we would want to see the Ministry of Education in conjunction with the private sector um, assist schools in coming up with proper transportation system. But while those talks continue, another appeal to the authorities and taxi drivers. We come back onto this bridge. I want to have 50 years with this here. The bridge of slavery. Look at flat. This is not flat bridge now. No, we, want, we want one new bridge, uncle. This one want new, new no, brand bridge. One lane bridge dangerous. So my fees say the government must put a two lane bridge. The taxi personnel them tell them they need to be cautious because they 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 are transporting. Pitney them on the road, and they am a mother of two, and they need to be careful. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News. The police high command says no effort will be spared to nab the killers of slain policeman Constable Todmar Allen. Two men are being sought in connection with the deadly attack. In a statement this afternoon, the high command said all resources will be provided for the investigation. It also said the constable who was attached to the mobile reserve was an outstanding officer who served the JCF for over 12 years. Reports are that about 1 o'clock, Constable Allen stopped at a bar on Monsignor Street in Rollington Town. Two men approached, shot him and fled the scene. The policeman was able to run to the nearby Rollington Town Police Station and was taken to hospital where he died. While expressing regret at the incident, the Police Federation has cautioned its members not to be daunted by the rampant acts of violence against them.